Hey guys, welcome back to The Long Dark. We are in Stalker this time. Now, I'm not sure if I want to keep this torch lit. I don't I don't quite remember exactly where we are, but it is the nighttime. Do I need like water or anything? No. So, I think I can just let this torch burn out. That's probably what I was doing. I may have searched things in here before, but I probably just like left the game and so it didn't save me searching. That's weird, isn't it? That's supposed to be like red to indicate that it's locked. That's strange. Wonder if they broke that mechanic at some point. Doesn't particularly matter. Just drop this. And I did remember being surprised that this is a workbench. I don't think... Okay, there's that other knife. I'm still really tempted to, um... Grab the knife. So that I can make crampons. But the crampons really don't matter. And there's another workbench that we're heading to anyway. So I probably won't bother. But am I even going to take this knife is the question. I probably will leave this. Because this is like a pretty central location. Although I think this one's better. Yeah. So I'll just swap them. And I can always come back for this. Okay. We already have two cans. In terms of food, we're doing very good. I do want to cook that before I eat it. I can just have both of these. Because I do want to go for well-fed. Stalker's not too bad for food. But I definitely want to cook that can before I eat it so that I can level up my cooking skill. And we do have the newer recipes. Which I've experimented... I've looked at a little bit in the last um, challenge game. But we're not that tired. Is there anything else we can do during the daylight? We did pick up a little bit of cloth, and we have this stuff. I guess I can do a bit of repairing. Probably should repair this. We really only have the one of those? Oh, okay, I see. Now, I did say I do have the hoodie. But I also think the hoodie is, like, about as good as this. If I remember. So I'm going to repair this. Because anything of wool is going to be very good in this game. A degree and a half degree, nice. And then this is mostly just for the windproofness, which isn't very much, so I should repair that too. Which cloth do I have? Like none, so that's why all, I kept all this stuff on me. But it's nice that we just have a moment to actually do stuff like this. Definitely want to repair this for the windproof bonus. Okay, now it's like 0.9 degrees of windproofness. It's not bad. Otherwise, we're not that warm because we don't have an outer coat yet, but it's better. We're making progress. I can also harvest these things. I don't really need to harvest these. At least not yet, but... 84 and 89. I'll harvest this. 10 minutes. And then we'll be able to sleep. Yeah, these will definitely be better than that. Do I want more leather? It's only 10 minutes, I may as well. Now how many bandages? We only have one, so since this is stalker, I'm going to harvest this and then make some bandages. Just in case, because bleeding can be a real nightmare, especially with these wolves. Okay, just do this. Okay. I could start shelling some of these acorns. Oh, we do have three of these. That's nice. Yeah, I think we're in a, like a pretty good spot right here. I think I'll do a bit of um, acorn prepping. Guess I can't. Interesting. I'll do like half an hour maybe because it is getting dark and then we'll be able to cook these and we'll have extra food on us and then I could make this a larger portion so that I can then cook it as a large portion 
Um, we still have time. I really just don't need to worry. In a whole hour. Let's just try four. Okay. That's probably enough for now. We should probably start to sleep. I will eat this just to sort of get rid of it. So where are the acorns? Since we can't eat them yet, they're going to be just somewhere else. Oh, in this menu. Okay. It looks like they improved the stacking. Because I I think I read something in the bug report that they there was something about the way the items were stacking. And I remember every time I had acorns, they like filled up my inventory. But maybe that's still a thing. But I imagine that that was probably a bug that they've worked to fix. Um, this is Stalker, so we could probably sleep more than 10 hours. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'll just sleep the 10. I don't think we're tired enough to sleep the full 10 anyway. But once the day comes, if the weather's good, we should be able to actually head out to the airfield. Of course, we wake up in the middle of the night. That's pretty normal. Not ideal. But our weight is about to go down. Ooh, almost. What are we? Why are we so heavy? Oh. Huh. That's why we're heavy. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain. We can clearly carry it, so... I could go outside and start a fire. And just, um... Cook the can. And maybe make a bit of water. I'll just break these down for now. Just pass a little bit of time. And then we could probably sleep a little bit after. I don't think there's, like, a dedicated... Like, um, fire source here. Like a fire barrel or something. Sounds windy. Okay, it's not too bad. Yeah, I don't think there's a fire barrel out here. So the question is, where would be the best spot? Probably, like, here, just because you have, like, this embankment and you have the truck, potentially, to block, uh, light. Plus, we could warm up in the truck. So, this is probably a good spot. I think I will use a book. We do have three, so I may as well just use it. And we got to use the torch so that we could see where we're going, but it also allowed us to use one match for this fire, which is good. Pretty efficient. And we don't have to be... And as um, efficient on Stalker, but it's still good. Oh, it's not Aurora, is it? That would be bad. Um, I think I should cook this. Just to have it cook so that when I need to eat it, I can. The fire should keep us safe from the wolves. And it is almost morning. But that wolf just seems to permanently be over there. Probably cook the acorns while we're here too. So we have... I don't know. Like 20 minutes or something? Okay, good. 12 minutes until boiled. Um, let me... Yeah, let's cook the acorns. Oh, that's so nice that it tells you everything at the bottom right. That's actually very good. I do really like this new interface. This it takes only 12 minutes to cook, 8 minutes to boil, so we have 10 minutes to do something else. Prepare the rest of these acorns. I really like this, uh, the cooking system improvements. Cook a bit more water. Here we have another 10 minutes, and we have one more acorn to shell. And I can spend one minute making this. Jeez. 
We'll stay on this side, I think. I do have to be careful of the wind blowing the fire out with the wolf right there. Oh yeah, so they actually are stacking properly now, so that was a bug. Thank goodness that they fixed that. And we definitely do need more water. So I think I'll just sort of do that. Yeah, we are actually kind of cold, so I think I'll use one coal. Just for the temperature. Since we have 15 anyway, right? We are in the wind protection for now, which is good. So I think I did choose a good spot. Is there anything else we can sort of spend time doing? And are we hungry? We are a little hungry. I think I'll just wait to eat, though. 320, that's not even bad. And its weight is not too bad. Yeah, we're, this is great. It's really just a matter, I think, of cooking water right now. I do have an extra can because I ate the, uh... Thing. Unfortunately, these are going to be out of sync, but that's kind of how it is right now. I think that'll be it. Um, we could do a little bit more. We have a long fire. Um, an hour 14. It is morning. We're a little tired. So I'd probably like to sleep an hour and maybe let this wind go down. I'll cook a little bit more water than we need to just because I can. Um, in terms of our weight, we could do another liter, maybe. And that will be it. I am I just want way more than I actually need. Looks like a new day is dawning. And that actually is using the fire. Although, it looks like the weather's good. We might just head out. Way more water than we need, so we won't need to start a fire for a while. Now I'll just fill my inventory with torches, and I'll just carry this with us. That's a good torch. Of course, it goes down to nine minutes, so I have to add a stick. But that's okay. So we should be safe now. I think I have a stone in my inventory. Is that a dead rabbit? That's tempting. Just getting like a fur or something off of it. Nothing to harvest. So did it just vanish? Yeah, that's okay. At least I checked. I didn't really want there to be much, if I'm being honest. I didn't want to have to worry about it, but... Well, I have a torch. I could probably just walk around. Oh, whole pack? Well, hey, at least the one on me means this one will ignore me. Oh. Or not. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep walking. At least a little bit, and then maybe I'll throw them off. Well, let's just gain some distance. Okay. This should be reasonable. That torch is clearly in front of me. It's always... It's always scary every time I do that. Even though I know it works reliably, it's just the noise that they make. Sometimes I'm like, are they bugged? Is the game bugged and going to kill me? You never know. Okay, here's like the ravine kind of area. We should just sort of have to head in this direction, take the road off to the right. It's foggy. I wonder if this is going to turn into glimmer fog or not.
But otherwise, the weather's pretty good. Our stats are fine, our condition's high. I think I know where I'm going. Mostly. I mean, there are the signs as well, so that does help. Yeah, we can go that way eventually. There'll be tons of stuff over there. But the airfield's really what we want. That's me being hungry. I thought it was a wolf eating something. We're not that hungry, so I don't need to immediately eat. We're getting a little cold. Well, that shouldn't be a big deal. I guess I'll keep that. At least for now. Maybe once we find a some sort of weapon. Which we could find here. Once we find that... Starting to feel numb. Then I won't need as many flares. Probably don't need two marine flares on me, though. It's not like this is Black Rock, you know? If this were, like, a Timberwolf region, I'd probably keep as many as I could, but... I wonder... So, I imagine at least one of the Far Territory regions will end up having Timberwolves. But I wonder if the other two both will, or if only one will. I mean, they have sort of talked about what the regions will be, right? I don't particularly remember. I think one is sort of like... Uh, like, just a military place where you'll be able to, like, find weapons and stuff, right? And I imagine that region, you'd... They would put a lot of predators in. They haven't really talked about the cougars much, so we have no idea where they're gonna end up being. Well, I think they said they were gonna just be, like, around in the regions. But anyway, I love the silhouette of the oak tree. Okay, we're almost here. Can't see anything. But we don't have an insomnia risk, so this isn't glimmer fog. Plus, we'd probably hear the sound effects. It tends to be more windy, I find. This is just your average run-of-the-mill fog. But hopefully we get some glimmer fog at some point. I do want to do the um, tail stuff. So glimmer fog will be a lot safer than an aurora. I don't want those acorns, but I don't want to grab them now. I am too cold for that. I'll just follow the road. I could go straight to the main building, but we have to loot everything, so... All in all, though, this seems like it was a good decision. Just starting a stalker run in this region. Like, those wolves that we saw there, that's, like, kind of all we had to worry about. What time is it? Oh, it is early in the day. At least on my difficulty that I've played on before, I haven't experienced many wolves over here. But I don't know how Stalker will change that. I guess I'll take that. We have a lot of vehicles to search. And luckily, I do know about the helicopters a bit better now. Because there's a lot of different compartments in those that you can loot. And it's really... Oh, another one? 
this will come in handy. Okay, this is starting to be too ridiculous. I don't know, like, that's probably really all I need. I can't see myself needing all of those, especially if we end up finding some weapon here. Matches? Flare shell. Now that's nice. I guess I may as well keep the fire going, right? Like, we have plenty of torches and stuff, but... It's also just nice having light when you're looting. Nice. Okay. Starting to warm up again. Is there anything over here? Don't mind me. We should probably just take a moment and eat. I could have warmed this up or something, but... It's fine. We have way more water than we need, and we're about to get even more of it. I don't want to carry antiseptic. It's just so heavy, and I, like, never use it. I'd rather just keep... Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a lot of water. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Well, we can always leave it here if we need to. And we might be in this area for a few days. So having extra water is fine. I'll just collect all the clothes, and then I'll drop it off. After. Nice. Those are both fantastic. I definitely am going to take that. So that when I make crampons, I can make them faster. I probably really don't need this torch anymore. Okay. There will still be more clothes around. Let's go in this screen and look. So obviously the this is going away. So the light shell is going on the outside because of the windproofness. And then this will be on the inside. Now we're going to be significantly warmer. Oh, a 90% one. Nice. And then any more underwear is great. These shoes I don't need. And I don't really need the hoodie or the shirt anymore. And we can always come back here for more stuff. One thing that does scare me is there's usually rabbits around here. And my first night I remember being out here, I was just like hearing them. Yeah, there they are. And I was like, are, what are those sound light, but are those like wolves right outside the door? Like, I had no idea, right? You don't know when you're first in a region. But it sounded light, and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's, um, whoa. Felt so cold in my life. Uh... Where's the hip? Oh, the hitbox is here. Weird. Let's get the Barely battery in. This much gear. So I wonder, I, there's transmitters in every region, so I'm guessing that the first time I did the tail, I just got, like, one specific thing, and I imagine you'll get different regions each time. Because otherwise... Like, I didn't have Blackrock in my list, but I've seen the Blackrock transmitter. So it must just be, like, procedural, you know? Okay, we have enough wires, apparently. We are cold, but that's okay. This won't take too long. Do I have fuses? Oh, I do. I guess I have picked up enough. And I definitely have the scrap metal. This is so interesting. Like, this sort of gameplay loop for a stalker game, like, so few people have ever done. Like, because it's like a brand new thing, right? Just do the transmitter gameplay, be in the far territory at all. So much of this game's lifetime, this just didn't even exist. Okay, so now we've repaired our first one, and when we have time, that will 
<laughs> that will operate, but of course we don't have the handheld radio yet. Is there nothing in here? Okay. If I don't floor him up soon. You'll be fine, Astrid. Flare shells, I do love that they're just giving to me. Ooh. So let's see, windproofness is even better than this. So this obviously, look how weak it is too, once I repair that. And then I imagine this one's going to be, this one is better. So I'll leave this here and I'll keep the aviator cap on the outside. And I should be able to repair that with leather, so it is good that I have a bit extra. Good. Then we have to search through these. Don't want paper anymore. We have plenty of tinder. In fact, we have too much tinder, so... See, if I were clever there, I would have made a tinder joke. Like, tinder the app. Anyway... <laughs> They're giving me flare shells. If I find a flare gun, that would uh, that'd make me very happy. I'd be a very happy boy. Although, I'd also like a revolver. I guess that's the cool thing about Stalker is you don't really... When it comes to like my challenge series, all I need is like one gun, you know what I mean? Because the challenge lasts so short. But here, you kind of will collect all of them. And there are the other variants as well. I should probably keep the mag lens. This stuff will come in handy. And just use it whenever I can. 51% is not that great, but that's okay. I think I researched everything down here. I think. We will get to go to the bunkers. That's going to be awesome. So hopefully we get some good regions. I hope it doesn't make me go to any place with Timberwolves, though. But that would make that interesting, you know? Okay. Oh. We are oh, in business. I didn't know that that could spawn here. It kind of makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. They can't sleep because the insomnia. The hitbox is not right. Forlorn, Muskeg, Mystery Lake, and Milton. So I had Forlorn, Muskeg, and Milton before, but I also had... Oh no. <laughs> okay, so Mystery Lake. Okay, I think I know where that is. It's just going to be either on the destroyed or the normal... Um, What are those even called? Lookout Towers? Pleasant Valley. Hush River Valley again. That's cool. But we also have Bleak Inlet. <laughs> so. Oh boy. That's going to be fun. But that's going to make this really interesting. Is there anything else up here? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, nice. It did detect that I did that. Good. The heck are the stairs? But now we have defense, specifically against bears. I'm going to try to never use it except against bears as defense. But, you know, if it really comes down to it, if we're really low condition or something, right? And there's a wolf, I probably would just use it. But I'll try to never get in that situation. Let's go loot the plane. Yeah, see, those rabbit noises are like... I'm going to try just um, walk slowly. Because I would rather take the water into the main hangar. Because that's sort of like the base for this area. So I'd rather do that instead of just leaving it in some random place. So with planes, you have these side hatches, which are easy to miss. 
Oh, more leather is good. I don't think there's much in here. I don't think there's any other loot spots on those. It's probably stuff that could be over there. I should probably look. We are just going to get tired, which is okay. I mean, we could stay here for a long time. Do we have the food for that, though? No. That's okay. Heavy hammer. Good, I actually needed that. I think. It at least would allow me to make coffee with the acorns. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay, let's just go straight to the hangar. And we can loot this area after. I just want to dump all this, these things. It is nice of them to give us a heavy hammer, though. I don't think I'm going to forge anything else, though. In fact, I don't think I'm going to forge at all. It's probably just not worth it on Stalker in the first few days. Like, it doesn't seem worth it. If this were an interloper run, though, we'd be going fantastic. But of course, things wouldn't be this easy if this were interloper. We'll have to loot that. We'll have to loot all the vehicles outside. Well, let's go inside and warm up. We can drop off our stuff and then we can loot this area. Hacksaw. Nice. Just go straight downstairs. It's pretty dark. Where's the door? I have to open the door, but I don't see. Oh. Okay. That explains it. You can read that if you want to. I guess I can use the lantern, right? It is so dark down here, though. Oh, that means I'm going to need either a fire or something to have the workbench actually be usable. Oh, potato sack over there. Nice. So I'm going to drop the tools here. Sack of potatoes. Nice. Probably use those and actually cook stuff. Good, we're going to need that lantern fuel. So much coal, which makes sense, since there is a forge here. I'll probably leave this here. I don't plan on really... The fact that you need a heavy hammer to make acorn coffee is, like, so ridiculous. Like, it kind of makes sense, but in terms of, like, a gameplay thing, it's like... You have to carry this two kilogram hammer just to make coffee. I think it's really more of, like, you make the coffee at your base and you just have it forever. So with these potatoes, glimmer fog. Are the lights going to turn on because of the fog outside? What else would be causing the noise, right? Yep, glimmer fog. So, maybe I should go out and explore, because I did repair the transmitter. But I could also stay indoors and use the light to craft. Hmm. I'd probably rather go outside, right? So, I will leave this stuff here, since I'm going to obviously need it here. Hopefully, it will last long enough to do everything. Ooh. 
forget, what am I actually going... Do I have any recipes that can even use the potatoes yet? Like, I don't even think I do. Maybe I could just cook them as is. I'll have to explore that. Now, why else am I so heavy? Because of all the wood in my inventory? Oh yeah, and the six liters of water. Right. I'll leave the... Why? That seems like a bug. The, I don't think you should be getting insomnia risk from standing in the stairway. Okay, I'll leave those. That's going to help a lot. I really don't need 25 pieces of coal on me for this. Even 13's overkill. Even 10's overkill, but that's a lot better. We can actually move this time. Let's go upstairs. I'm going to go use the transmitter while it's um, daytime and there's fog. There's firewood here. So I'll just dump these potatoes here and we'll cook them later. But let's go explore. I need to find some place to escape this cold. We might get insomnia. And in fact, we might just get cold, but it's okay. So now I can find out if these are actually in the same place or not. This is about the same place that I had it last time. Although mine was further to the left. Seems like it's pretty close, so luckily we don't have to go that far. This is so cool though, like actually doing this in a real game that isn't just designed to explore. It's really cool. And I could see how there could be wolves ahead and I could be in danger. I don't, I still don't know if the glimmer fog affects the wolves at all. It's like, you can't even see anything. Oh god. <laughs> you can't see anything. <laughs> I need to really just like walk in a straight line so I can follow my footprints back. it no see like what is that because I'm getting closer I just no nope. Oh, it is getting further away. Where? It's like within like a three meter radius of me or something. Okay. It is like directly in front of me somewhere here. see anything obvious. There we are. Well, that's all we're gonna find here. We are cold. 
Okay, flare shell and flashlight's not even bad. Okay, well, I'm just gonna burn this because I can, and it might in principle warm me up a little bit. Oh god. But we have to follow these footprints back or we are, like, lost. This flare is really not helping. <laughs> oh, but I can use the flashlight. Which also doesn't really help. I should probably keep that on me if we're going to be doing this stuff. Because we're going to be dealing with auroras. So for the one time in a long time, I'm actually going to keep the flashlight on me. Now hopefully there's no wolves behind us, so our condition loss shouldn't really matter. Really, it was just the flashlight flare shell, I think, from that that was good. But either way, it's good to go and grab those. Wow, my eyesight is different. <laughs> I just don't need those. Flare shell, though. All of those we can get, the better. Oh, no. Oh, God, I thought the steps ended. Okay. We're back. Jeez, look at that. Did the flare all the way over there just burn out and we just heard that? Like, it's next to us? That seems like a bug. We really need to go inside now. Should be alright, though. Let's go try and cook those potatoes. I don't know if I need a... I probably would need a cooking pot. So we might just have to do some looting. There's bound to be either a cooking pot or skillet in here somewhere. up. We're like so slow now. Because we're so tired. It's like so much to loot. Maybe I'll go try and make the crampons while there's light downstairs. And we can loot this later. We are very tired, though, so I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to sleep a little bit. May have ran a bit too much. And we can't start a fire in here. Because we're indoors. Unless I started at the forge. But that might be too far to even have the light reach. Improved crampon. Improvised crampon. Let's just try. If I take condition loss, it's fine. Good. So now we're done with that. I don't think I need to make anything else here. Although there are the new fishing stuff. Like, I could make a f like fishing lures and stuff. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. But we do have the options. Let's take this upstairs. I really don't want to spend much time down here because it just gets so dark. And if we're not forging, then we can just go upstairs. I could leave coal here in the future for forging, but I don't think we're really going to come back here except for the end of the tale. And that could be many episodes ahead. Because I don't... I'm not going to rush the tale, right? I'm just going to do it as we play. I'm going to Bleak Inlet's going to be... Very interesting. I'm definitely going to want a gun before I go there. Okay, so let's sort of like make a pile of firewood stuff like here. I'll just drop all of the coal. Drop the reclaimed wood as well. I'll move the fire log out here. That auto rotate, that was cool. Oh, it's the water, right? We can just leave the water, like, at the door. It doesn't even matter. We're very thirsty and hungry. Let's just eat the acorns. 
They're basically like um, cattails, except I think they're slightly heavier. And you have to cook them and prepare them, but other than that... We do have the potatoes, which we'll be able to cook at some point, I think. Look at this place. I did search these. Okay. Let's find a bed. There might be... I think it would be upstairs. If I remember. Look how tired we are. We can barely, like, walk. Glimmer fog ending? Oh! No, I can't get a memento from this computer? Oh. Uh. Well, I mean, I don't really do that much, but... You know, if if I could get one for free, that wouldn't bother me. I'll search all of this stuff later. I don't like the wires. I don't think they do anything during this, but... You never know, right? TV is really cool. And immediately just eat this. Sounds like it could be ending. But we utilized it either way. Are there beds up here? Maybe over here is like the barracks sort of area. We're doing fantastic though. This is great. And there's so much more loot we haven't even gotten yet. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Nothing in there. Yeah. Let me sleep on this vertical bed. Oh, nothing. It's worse than the one we have. Even with the, like, shells, we're very cold. Wait, can you break these down during the glimmer fog? That sounds like a bad idea. Okay, so it is about nighttime. Let's just drink fully. Look at our capacity. That's awful. Let's try 11 hours. See if that's actually safe. Did it stop and then come back? Is there an aurora tonight? It might have just been glimmer fog the whole time. So clearly, we probably can sleep a full 12 hours. On Stalker, I think. It looks that way based on how much water we had left. Let's just sleep like the remaining. But either way, this has been fantastic for this episode. We're making great progress, but I think I'm going to leave things here. Next episode, we'll have to loot all of this stuff, and that's going to be really exciting. And I'll also get to repair this kind of dapper aviator cap, you know? Oh, I didn't even put on the crampons. That's probably not going to save, so I better remember to do that after. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I definitely did. I'll see you in the next one.